Oh my god, I can't believe the first day I'm back in Houston. I'm the only one at Corrupted Strength on Thursday morning actually a tr trying to attack my workout. You guys in the picture with your like hand like, behind your head <laughs> screaming. <laughs> I don't think I have do I don't think I have everyone has that image except for me. Everyone has that image well, except I think I have it. <laughs> they need to make a street for this shit. It's a little fit check right here. See it? Dude, I bought myself some boots for my birthday and they just finally came in about like four weeks later. I just lit. See it? You know, nothing crazy. With the netted sweater. Oh. These are nice because like you can dress them up or dress them down. Like you can wear them casually with something like this. But kind of, like I feel like every man needs a boot, like a solid boot for some type of occasion or a special occasion, like whether you're going out or what. Everyone needs a black boot, so this is officially my black boot. Right here. But we're about to get into some deadlifts. I don't know what we got. I think seven to eight. But like since I failed last week's double, I don't know what I'm gonna have. But I mean, we'll warm up and see. My back feels better as of now. Cause last week, dude, my back was just so fucking fried. I didn't have shit in there. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the drop. And then at HQ later, I wanna talk more about the drop to give you guys like an idea of what actually is gonna be going on. Okay. But I've been waiting for these cropped hoodies for like a minute now, bro. And they're finally here. Like, so tough. Better quality good. It's like essentially just the hoodie that we had, but like cropped kind of like at like the belly button line. So, and it's just, it's just a hard aesthetic. Like some old 90s bodybuilder, like some, not old 90s basketball football aesthetic you know what i mean like all this fashion shit comes in waves you know like what was in style back then it comes up now but like in a retro form or just like a little bit different and it's just like trends they just come and go you know joggers they were popular in like the 80s and they came back and you know it's just like shit just comes and goes so shout out to the crop hoodies bro like i've been waiting on this silhouette i've been talking about coming out this silhouette since like may or june bro like i just wanted something cropped you know what i mean just for the summer so we finally have them and then along with the return of the five inch performance shorts these are my favorite shorts that we come out with like by far not even close oh yeah yeah it's the, the way they hug the leg and the way they have you looking inside the gym, bro, all the grandmothers, bro, they're smoked, I'm telling you. Caution signs are everywhere. Yeah, bro. so we're gonna put this shit on, get into some vibes for this deadlift session, probably jump around, run around with my AirPods, get a good stretch going, and I don't know, pull something heavy, we'll see.
wasn't sure how I was going to go today, given the fact that I failed my single, or my double last week. So I actually took it almost easy the rest of the week to stay ahead of the fatigue. So we smacked 738 right there. I'm not sure how much I had left. I haven't lost it back yet since I literally just walked over right after hitting it. Oh, good though. 705 for 5. <laughs> Dude, how is that? Is that what he hit it for? I don't know. I don't know what he hit it for. I mean, he hit like 750 for a double, I think. <laughs> so that was kind of the card. Bro, the CS5s are here, man. Feels so good. Everyone's just chirping. Great feeling. Two, uh, 639 for five, dude, fine. We're gonna drop it to 584, just bang out the last three sets of five. Hit some bodybuilding stuff, and then get the fuck to HQ. But great workout overall, dude. The fact that I was able to hit 738 like that, despite all the circumstances, very happy. Can't complain. Shit, we're 10 weeks out. <laughs> yeah, how many weeks out are we? Like, like 10? 10, yeah. 10 weeks out, dude. Holy shit. It's time to lock the fuck in. Yeah, lock the fuck in. No more fucking around, dude. Like, these, these next 10 weeks, bro, we have to be coming different every day in the gym from now on. Like, mediocrity is not gonna cut it on any day. <laughs> Go, Sean! Come on! Hi! Hey! You're just saying how... Last week I like pushed too hard and if I was able to chill and like dial it back last week on the doubles and not try to push him too hard I would have been set up so much better to like hit something this week and the workouts this week were good You know 661 earlier this week on squat moved well and then uh, 738 moved well as well But what I'm saying is like if I was able to pull it back in the moment when I should have I probably could have hit like 760 or like 755 today at like a similar speed to that 738. But it's fine because I mean these next 10 weeks, probably yeah like 750 something like that. But yeah, I mean it just sets us up for the next 10 weeks to we kind of like know the plan, know how we need to proceed, know how we need to train, and it's just a matter it's just a matter of coming in each day and just executing and hitting each day how it needs to be hit. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much it though. Me, me, and, me and Dion having a thousand dollar bet to see who's gonna bench more at CSC. He's fucked, not me. He needs to keep working. Don't worry about me, numbness. <laughs> but yeah, it's funny because like he's like a 74 kilo bench specialist, and I'm like an 110 with a poverty bench, you know? So like we shouldn't even be making this bet, but we are. I can be able to do it. Yeah. We were gonna we were gonna make a bet over best dots as well, but Oh I'm definitely gonna win that too. Nah, we're not we're not doing that one. That one's too unfair. He's cheating too much for that you one. You could do it, just have a handicap. A handicap? Like a plus or minus ten handicap? Nah, fuck that. We're gonna have a good ten dots handicap. Hell no. Nah. Actually, maybe. I'd have to run the numbers. As to like what he's actually because I already know what he's gonna hit. I already know what he's gonna do. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna wrap up the workout, get to HQ. I gotta get back and shower real quick. Get to HQ. Look at the clothes. It is what it is. Get that boy right, bro. All right. Well, I'm gonna get a shower and then get to HQ because I got a meeting in like 26 minutes. Sheesh. Right? Sheesh. Hey. Uh. <laughs> What's one up to, dude? You scared me. <laughs> Look at me. We had to stop the camera so Ann could dap me up real quick. <laughs> uh, just finishing up. I had a call just to make sure the website is situated for tomorrow. Let me show you guys the website, actually. This website looks sexy, man. Oh, God. Did the website photo? It looks so good. All that shit. Everything came out so good, so... I don't know if this video is going to be out by the time the drop hits or not, but I it mean... It out tomorrow. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Alright, bet. Say less. So, <laughs> you guys are seeing this right now. Um, if you guys can, if you guys want to secure your sizes, just go shot now, man. Like, I'm trying to tell you guys. Like, there's no guarantee that any of these pieces are going to be in stock by the actual public launch. 
Uh, here we have a preview of all the tees that we have coming. Uh, just everything right here. Yep, looks good. We have the shorts as well. With the performance shorts, the nylon shorts, and the lifestyle above. Cropped hoodies, hats. I'm not a, I don't, I'm not a hat wearer, but if you guys are, can't go wrong with these. And let's go into the website. Super, super secret password. Um, right here. Same web, same thing right here. This, and then it takes us to like a preview of the collection right here, where it's just a bunch of lookbook pictures with like a small little preview of kind of what's to come. And then the full collection with all the items right here. So this the website's locked and loaded and ready to drop, man. I think we just need to upload the stock tonight and then we're ready to go. But um, in the meantime, we've just been sitting here working away at this and then getting my meals in. Um, in a few minutes, we'll show you guys a little bit of like what the items actually look like they're on the rack you can just go through there yeah. uh, and i actually got to get my lifestyle shorts because i've i've only been wearing the bro i'm telling you i've only been wearing the performance shorts and like the cropped hoodies the past like three weeks like i only wear the like those three pieces i just like swap them out for different combinations i probably look crazy walking around because everyone just sees me say, wearing the same exact shit but if i like it i'm gonna wear it you know what i mean so yeah a little bit yeah that's what we are rolling all right so one last thing I want to talk to you guys about this video is the new drop that's coming for better. The 90s nostalgia drop. It's low-key giving vibes of like summer 1.0 and 2.0 from last year. Uh, which is like nostalgic for me because obviously I wasn't even thought of back in the 90s. But I'm going to go through with uh, just the items that we have coming up uh, that are dropping. This is the Olympic tee. We didn't really get the chance to promote the Olympic tee much during the drop just because there were some complications regarding shipping. But this is actually my favorite tee from the drop. Uh, the Olympic tee comes in gray, white and then black as well um, with a dope ass like quality goods Olympic graphic on the back. On top of that we have um, the lightning, the retro lightning team which comes in white, purple and black. It just has like this graphic right here with uh, the same graphic just blown up on the back. Those two, the lightning tee and then the, ret or the Olympic tee are definitely my favorite from this drop just because I feel like they're the most wearable and like I can see myself wearing these tees for like drops to come like outfits to come like i feel like i could wear this shit like years from now and it'll just go with whatever i'm wearing uh after that we have the summer of 94 t which has like this graphic right here with like a little swimming graphic on the back it's available in both like this mustard and this blue right here but the and then all these tees are like like the tees have just been getting better and better since last year like I don't know if you guys have ordered any tees from the recent drops, but the level of comfort and just um, like the way it feels on your skin just feels so good. There's small de uh, like detailed distressing around the collar and then the sleeves right here, but just the way this tee feels, it's like so fucking soft, like swear to God. After that, we have the win the race tee that's available in black and uh, white. Both fire, They're like just a different color for the back for this right here fire and then after that we have the just the btr tee with just the it's like the running man tee graphic on the front dope those are the tees um onto the shorts for the lifestyle shorts we have five pairs we have this black kind of like rugrats graphic and then we have the same thing in white with just like a slightly different pattern and then we have the dixie cup uh i call them the dixie cup uh shorts which is like y'all all know these patterns that they used to be on the cuffs like when you were younger fire but we have them in white we have them in black and then we have them in this blue and like pink and like green neon dope um and then on top of that <coughs> we have performance shorts y'all know y'all know the performance shorts y'all have definitely seen them this is what i've been wearing like the past three weeks i haven't wearing, worn anything but these but yeah we have in the performance shorts we have white blue and black and then in the cropped hoodies, which you guys know I've been wearing, are blue, black, and then gray. So, like, the, what I like about these is that you can style these and match these. Like, you can just mix and match them. And any combination is going to look good. Any combination is going to work. You're going to be able to pull off any one of these in a fit. Like, if you have the, what's, like, three factorial? Nine? Six? You have, like, at least six different outfits or combinations just from these that you can make. Actually, you have nine. Yeah. Yeah, you have nine three combinations three. that you can make just from these. So, like, that's why I've been wearing these the past three weeks because, like, you can just cycle them in and out in different looks, different combinations, and they all look good. Um, so, yeah, that's the tees or that's the hoodies. 
We also have the nylon hoodies. Um, these nylons fit a lot better than the last nylons that we dropped, and they also look a lot better we as well. We nylon hoodies. God damn it. I'm a fucking idiot. The nylon shorts. These are the nylon shorts. God damn. These fit a lot better relative to the last nylon shorts that we dropped, and these also look better in my opinion as well. These come in black, blue, red, purple, and then like a green and yellow. These are low-key giving me like Sonic the Hedgehog vibes. Did y'all play Sonic Riders growing up? Like that was like the biggest, that was probably like the most popular game I played growing up when I had the original Xbox, Sonic Riders, and then the Shadow the Hedgehog game. And I swear to God, these are just giving me vibes from like Sonic Riders, Sonic Heroes, like taking me back to the fucking childhood. Like I don't think Dion even knows what Sonic is because he's an old head, but um, like, I don't know. These shorts are really just throwing me back. And then all these just go with the tees so well. Like, that's what we really like about, that's what I really like about the collections that we put out is like everything that we put out, it's very cohesive with all the other pieces from the drop. But yeah, these are coming to the Discord first uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central. So Friday, the day that this video releases, they'll be live at 10 a.m. And then public goes live uh, the next day. So Saturday, September 2nd. Uh, you guys can use code WEES to save. If you guys do use my code, let me know in the DM so I can shout you guys out. But that's pretty much it. Um, this is a quick little video. We have some hats as well. But, like, I'm not a hat person. I just don't wear them. Maybe I will start. Maybe I'll shave my head one day and start wearing hats and shit like that. Who knows? But, yeah, we'll wrap it up the video here. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know in the comments what else you guys want to see. We've just been recording training and then kind of just like lifestyle stuff. But if there's anything where you guys want to see me like kind of diversify or like tread out into something that I don't usually do, um, I want to start talking about like some finance stuff as well. Would y'all be down for that? Like talking about credit cards, uh, investing stuff, finance that like I know would help you guys because I wish I had that same information when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just want to like change it up and branch out into other stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.